My next guest is Ralph Fortes, a destructive artist. He has had more than 30 shows in the United States and Great Britain. His works are in the permanent collection of the Museum of Modern Art, the Oxford Museum, and the Whitney. He is on the executive board of the Destruction and Art Symposium to be held at the Finch Museum this spring. Ralph, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks, Fred. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Good to be here. I hope so. Could you, could you briefly explain to us what Destruction Art is and what are we going to do for, and what you're going to do for us tonight? Uh, basically, Destruction Art is an aggressive art. <laughs> it's an art where the artist has an opportunity to release his hostility and his anger. And he has an opportunity to get involved in all sorts of interesting magic, like the magic of the general and the magic of the suicide and the murderer and the juvenile delinquent. All at once, right? Right, all, all right. at once. Are you going to do something for us right now, right? Yes, I am. You want to just explain what you're uh, going to do? I see the piano's been brought out here. Yes, I'm, today I am going to perform a piano concert. And uh, you're going to get involved in it. The audience is going to, on cue, when I tell you to bust your paper bags, you will then proceed to explode the paper bags you have as quickly as you can. But wait for the cue. It's important in this concert. Okay. And Everybody's got you? paper bags? Yeah. yeah, there they are. Everybody's got them there. Okay. You all set? Fine. Also, right. also, I have, to begin with, I have a pretty young lady here who's going to help me begin the, hatchet, the concert. Is that the yes. Ball? Yes. All right. It's going to begin wow. as a duet. Okay. Ready? Here we go, huh? Listen, when we're finished, we'll have, whoops, questions from everyone. I want to take a whack at it. <laughs> Are we all set to break the bags? All right, bust the bag. I'll try one. Now, my love. How far do we go, Ralph? All the way down? Right? Is that about it? Okay. Hey, let's have Ralph Ortez. Ralph, let's get down here. Wow. That's quite a performance. Tremendously theatrical. Okay. Wait a minute. I'd, li I'd like to now. I'd like to find out some some questions. Do you? Let's start with this. Firstly, it seems to be very cruel. It seems very frightening. What other kind of destructions do you do? Well, I've done furniture destructions for years. <laughs> 
Really? Is there another type? I mean, you do piano, but there are a lot yeah, of different Yeah, there types. are. There what are. did you do with the uh, Montreal? I uh, did a kind of, it's exhibition. a happening destruction right. event. This definitely worked for young people. <laughs> this is a young people's art. Do, do you find, by the way, that uh, the destructive art is really a, I mean, a cathartic type of thing that yes. people... Yes. Yes, in what sense? In fact, most art is becoming process now. The happening is a perfect example of the artist becoming more and more involved in process, in doing as being the art, the doing itself, the happening. W would you say it's like McLuhan's total environment kind of thing? I that mean, that kind, kind of, of uh, that yeah, kind of thing. that kind of thing. Listen, how about questions? I mean, I, I have lots myself. Well, let's go. Come on up here. Let's go. We'll start with, let's go. You're next, right after her. Okay, turn around. Oh, let's come on. Right, right, right over here. Here we go. Well, no, no, let's, let's look this way so everybody can um, see. Go ahead. Why pianos? Um, do you, <laughs> you have anything against pianos? Yes, I do. What? What have you got against pianos? For years, I had to walk my sister to take piano lessons. Oh. I mean, I hate the subway. If you hated the subway, would you go up with your axe and break up the subway? If I owned it. Oh, you, oh thank you. Okay. Next one. Here we go. Well, I'm just a well, novice. Let's turn around. Let's I'm just a novice. No, no, destroyer. we got to turn around. We can see. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 let's turn around. That's it. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm just a novice destroyer, you know, records and plates. My, you know, my mother's furniture. Once in a while. How does one get into the the professional business? You know, because I, I dig this. It I'll looks like fun. I'll see you after the show. Okay. okay. I'm okay. set for it. You serious? I mean, there is a definite business now going on in destruction art. Well, it's not a business, but next time I put on a destruction event, destruction realization. He'll become involved in it. Okay. What are you going to do with the Finch Museum? Uh, we're going to have a symposium. We're going to have a, a show from May 6th to June 20th of Destruction Art. It will be an international show. Right. I've got to see that. Go ahead. Well, well, come on, come over closer. Let's have your name first. Sharon. Sharon, go ahead. Okay. Sharon. Well, how do you exhibit it? Do you ship it like this or do you do it on the spot or what? Well, uh, we try to keep it like this when we ship it. You, you mean after it's finished, you don't do anything with it, do you? Yeah, well, now it's sculpture. Now it's sculpture. You mean, you mean you'll just pick up all these pieces and ship them up and yes, lay them out like that? exactly. Well, I sign it first. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's another young lady. Come on. What, what, let's, come on over here. That's it. That's it. Go ahead. Well, would you consider this a performing art then and not just like, you know, an art to be shown or something? It is both. Well, don't you consider the piano beforehand an art? By itself? Yes, I mean, yes. And you're destroying art to make art? Yes. Okay. Well, that's interesting. In, in other words, you would, you would consider destructive art even if it was a, a, a master like the Mona Lisa and somebody decided to destroy it, if they had it, yes. that, would be, that would be okay also, you mean? Is that fine, what you're saying? Fine. All right. If they owned it. If they owned it. But do you think, let me, uh, do you think that art generally is moving away from the state and formal kind of ideas? It certainly is. I think people generally are moving away from the state and stereotype. But don't you think that the art uh, going back for centuries, some of it is fantastic and some of it has a definite place in our society? Yes, my analogy is like this. It's like uh, sulfur was a really great drug at one time, but oreomycin is, you know, real nutty. Give me things change. Okay, right, right let's yeah. go. Well, oh, come on, come on in here. Wait a minute. Wait. Ah. This isn't a question, but I want to make you an offer. I have four little sisters that would just, you know, love this. They, they tear up everything. How can I get them in, you know? I'll see you they after really the show. They really love it. <laughs> Thank after you. Okay, we have to leave right now. Thank you very much. We'll be back right after these announcements. Right. <laughs>